Uh, so then deck plate, like I always pretty much always recommend people to start with the deck plate in the middle. Um, most mast tracks are getting a lot smaller nowadays on boards, on production boards anyway. Uh, how often do you move your deck plate about? I move it a bunch and I usually try to go 1-2 cm back or 1-2 cm forward. And it's very hard to say a place because every person weighs different and they yeah, ride yeah. different sails. But generally, I think if you're riding a really clean, down the line spot, or if you want to just turn really tight, you can have it a little bit more further back theoretically. If you are kind of going a little bit out of control or, or riding somewhere where you have too many chops, maybe you, you go a little bit more forward. But again, that's really personal. And even the sail that you have puts a different weight on the board. So I, I think the only way to really know it's testing it, yeah. each person on each board and really choosing for yourself because it's hard for someone else to say it. But I think generally, if you're kind of going out of control, you're moving forward a little bit. Yeah, and yeah. if you want to loosen up the board and make really the bad. board turn a little bit easier, you can go a little bit further back. And this much, like not a yeah, one Yeah, that's even to too another. much, like one cm, two cm, okay, just perfect. slowly move it. I think that's a lot to do with a lot of windsurfing. Each time you tune everything, it's tiny little like adjustments, you know. Everybody goes, wow, to one, one extreme to another, you know, and it's just yeah. that small little movement. Yeah, maybe at first you can have a little bit more extremes and then it will be pretty black and white if you like more further forward or more further back. And, and once you know that, then you start trimming it with smaller numbers until you find... Hey, uh, something that I wanted to ask, do you ever get a marker out and just mark? like your fin position and, and your deck plate or is it just all in, in your head? I do mark my fin position sometimes. The deck plate I don't so much because, because I move the deck more than I move the fins. Yeah, yeah. But I I don't. I kind of know the boards that I ride yeah, yeah. and then I, I just look at it in relation to my, my foot strap and I kind of save it on my head when I like it. Cool. Well, that's moving on to foot straps. I did notice uh, on the Goya Customs, um, you have quite a wide stance like that comes out of the production um you know what 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 do you recommend on the wide stance like would you, you do you, would you have a narrow stance for say jumping or riding or, or a wider stance in different conditions first talking about each single foot strap i used to have really wide and really big straps and recently i've been changing more and more of making them narrower but keeping them tall yeah and i, I like to have my foot really far in the strap as far as it goes so i have more control over the board and i feel like if they are narrow on the sides and tall they are easy to release but you have a really good control when you're sailing overpowered on choppy before setting up for a jump because whether they are like wider and lower i really just feel like it's even That's scarier good. because one foot can come out at any time and the other foot can stay in so some people say oh use them wide so they get out easily but then if you're sailing with a lot of speed it just kind of takes so much control away that I don't feel safe that way so I prefer to have them narrower and I always when I get a board I start trimming it from the back foot strap okay. and I try to find a number from the tail where it feels comfortable meaning that it's not too far back that the board is kind of like the nose too high or spinning out too much but not too far forward that I can't turn it you find a good balance and then after that I base my, my front foot and usually if I am on a place where the wind is really strong and it's more wave riding conditions say at Hokipa I like to have my stance around 19 and a half inches yeah. and in the Canaries that it's more side on and you, you, you're trying to jump more I, I go between 19.5 and 19 sometimes a tiny bit narrower especially if the wind's lighter because if you have a narrower stance I feel like it's a little bit easier to get plenty and to go faster but the wider stance I prefer it for wave riding I feel like it's more forgiving it's easier to land moves and nicer to bottom turn I think and just like you know for your tackers and stuff it just as you said before it kind of Bring Joe over yeah, your bit. center of, of gravity, it's a little bit lower because you can bend your knees a little more and I, I feel more comfortable that way for wave riding, but again, that's very personal. Yeah. 
each person likes it's a different, different way. Yeah, for sure. I think that's a lot to do. It's you've got to feel comfortable, huh? And yeah. like you know, some people like you can imagine someone five foot tall with your stance is like super wide, you know. So yeah. it's it's got to be kind of. I think a lot to do with wind surfing. When you're comfy, and that's when you're really going to learn. So yeah. it is a personal preference. And also sure. the style that each person has, the type of boards that they ride, and types of of sails. It's not. I don't think there is one way that yeah. can work. I think people can make a lot of different setups work well. You know? So you'd recommend trying around different positions and stuff. Yeah, I I, re I definitely recommend trying around. But I, if I can say anything, I'll start from the back foot strap. Yeah. Try to find a place from the tail where the board feels well balanced and then base your stance out of that, I would say. Okay, nice. Cool, perfect.